All right, so things are a changing here in Houston. We're starting to notice what you guys are liking, what you're commenting. Today, we came out to a master plan community. The main reason of it, we're gonna be very transparent with the prices. In fact, we're gonna be looking at houses at 375, 400,000, 350, and down at the end, the upper, or actually about $280,000. And the main reason I talk about the prices is because they have the craziest incentives that we have found. So we found some emails, we found some marketing material, and JoJo and I had to come out here and see it because not only are the prices amazing, the incentives that we share with you at the end, I will break down line for line. You will start noticing how you will save thousands, tens of thousands of dollars and get incredible interest rates. But first, what we're gonna do is go into this first Pulte home. Second, we'll go into the Beezer home. And then third and fourth, we're gonna go into those two Centex homes over there. One of them is two story, the other one is a single level, but it's not just a single level. Some of the $200,000 homes we've shown around here have only been about 11 or 1200 square feet. That one is 1500. It is amazing in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go right into house number one. All right, right here. We are at the very edge. Cut. Uh, Jojo, you left him hanging there, big dog. Well, I guess Jojo needs a mulligan while he's collecting his thoughts, Jackson Wilkie, with the original Living in Houston, Texas team. This is going to be crazy today. Yes, we've already told you the prices of these houses, which is incredibly cheap, but the incentives at the end, I am going to rank them from good to the best you will find in Houston. So, we've got crazy incentives saving you tens of thousands of dollars. Unbelievable. That will be at the end of this video, but first, you got to see if you like these houses, and I know you will because some of them are only 280,000 bucks. Let's go into house one and see if Jojo's got his mojo back. All right, this is the first house here, Jackson, and this is Pulte Home, and this is gonna be starting sub 400,000, base price 379. Dang! Now, Two Jojo's story a house. little wrong, because it was actually 374. Nine. So you're gonna say five grand just listening to me, but Jojo, can you get us in? I'll get us in, so come on in and take. A lot of builders, as you'll notice, these. this is typically the garage space. What we're gonna do is curve in and curve out to go to the front door. <laughs> and that reminds me. So we've gotten a lot of comments from you guys lately and you say, how in the H-E double hockey stick do you drive into the garage? Or how do you drive through the shrubbery? With these show homes like this, they put all of the uh, plants and everything out here. And in fact, these are the sales offices, but this is typically where your garage is gonna go. But for those of you out there that didn't understand that, we're sorry that we didn't explain that. So we'll go in here and we'll check out the first house. Come on, Joe, the whole world's waiting on you. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we got those taller doors. Okay, so we do have the tall doors as you noticed. And come on in and take a look around in here. No, you haven't been able to walk into one of these yet, Jackson. Man. Okay, so this is a newer builder that we haven't really showcased before. We've been in them throughout the city with clients. However, we just haven't showcased one specifically on camera yet. Gotcha, so immediately you walk in and we've got a big, bright, office study right out of the bat. A lot of people love those. All right, so as we come in, you still get the high ceilings. You get the open to the second floor. Uh, what I wanted to highlight, because you might be wondering, well, what's the size of this house at, as you're viewing it? This is right at uh, 2,700 square feet. So you still get tall ceilings, nice windows, nice lighting throughout. You got a big island kitchen. You have a utility room over here to the left of me, a nice walk-in pantry. And then you have this nice mud room over here, Jackson. Well, let's check out the muddy mud. Again, from outside, that was sales offices and windows, but it would actually be your garage and you would walk in here. And again, you've got a nice spot to drop all of the bags, the shoes from the kids, whatever, and, and, and hooks and hangers. And then you do have um, your laundry room right in here as well. So it's a big spacious home, Jojo. It is. And also, you know, even though you walk into the model homes, you always see the highest upgrades in here. Like see, you see the offset dark blue, navy type blue with the gray uh, transition here. Just so you know, this particular builder here, uh, Jackson, they offer customization as far as building from dirt options. So this builder here, which we'll get into later, has two options. You can uh, build inventory or you can build from dirt and be able to do this exact thing that you see in here. All right, now let me take you to the primary bedroom. It's back here in the back, which gives you the best views to the backyard. Not all yards are gonna be like this here. Look at that though. When you're in Conroe, you get those beautiful trees, a lot of water. Job. So coming on over here to the primary room, there's two things that stick out in this room and that's not including space. You have the bay windows here that adds really nice, just appealability to the house, but you also have these trade ceilings. So let's come over here and uh, take a look at the primary bathroom, which is really cool in here. 
It's kind of like, Joe, the, Joe. like the car wash, you know? <laughs> it's a semi car wash. That's nice. It's a huge walk-in yeah, shower. It is. It is. You got. You can hit both of these right here. You twist them. You got one coming here and one from above. I thought you were gonna do it, man. I thought I was gonna have to get you a towel. <laughs> and then pretty decent sized walk-in closet over here. Actually, it's pretty. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Bigger than mine, Jojo. Yeah. It's Plenty of room. So again, we're not talking about these. 3,000, 4,000 custom home, but this is a really nice house that feels custom at like the entry level price, you know? So most of these houses that we go into, you know, no matter what size, they're gonna have some sort of custom patio back here, place for you to hang out. And a lot of these have, have pretty good sized, oversized lots, but you'll notice too, I mean, just the appeal, no matter where you're at in this neighborhood, as far back as you can go, it is nothing but trees all the way around you. The crazy part is you have some major, highway freeway with the 99 and the 242 and you don't hear any of that traffic out here because of the trees so it feels like you're kind of secluded in here but you're still just 15 minutes away from you know the woodlands mall or heading over to the valley ranch town center there off of 59 so here's another view and then jojo take us upstairs man yeah and just look how it just you know goes all the way through with high ceilings from the back all the way towards the front of the house you get to see from this section right here, you're able to see the game room up there, a bedroom, which makes it really nice to be tied into the first floor. So let's go on up. Before we come into the game room, if you notice over here, Jackson, to this room right here, there's something so unique about it. Whoa. It's, it's not that either, it's the closet. The closet is amazingly oh, big. Thought we were talking about skate or die, bro. Right here, check out this closet. It's just an oversized closet for one of the uh, bedrooms upstairs. Yeah, that thing is deep. Yeah, that's a huge closet. It is. So the kids are gonna be fighting over that room. All right, so here's the game room. It's really nice. There's a full bath right over here. And what's really nice about this floor plan, Jackson, is you saw a bedroom over here, a bedroom here, and a bedroom over there. So they're just not right next to each other. They're spread out. Right, and then you got a center, you know, movie spot up here, plenty of room to hang out. Yep. So here is the other bedroom, one of them, and then you're gonna have a full bath right here. All right, so as we walk into this bedroom, you might have felt like there was only one full bath up here for the second floor, but it's not. It opens up. This bedroom has a full bath as well. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so this is the bedroom everybody's gonna fight over. But that is nice, because when I first came up here with, you know, one, two, three bedrooms, I thought this was gonna be the only full bathroom until we walked in there. So you get two full bathrooms upstairs here, and then you have this just massive space right here. You look at this from up here in the corner. This is a really big and spacious home. Now again, I just want you to make sure that you are not only looking at these houses to see if you like them. We're gonna rank them at the end. Which house do you like the most? But at the end, I will break down. I wrote down exactly, whoa, don't look at that too much. What these crazy incentives that these builders are throwing at this actual development for us. So you do not want to miss that. But let's go check out this second house. Might be my favorite. Okay, so we just left the 375 house. Now we are coming into the amazing Beezer home right here on a single level home at the 404 price point. So if it's single level, Jojo, this thing's gotta be pretty nice single then. Single level, and just so you know, this is the most popular floor plan they have out here. However, they do have a lower price point coming in. It's just lower square footage as well. I'm gonna tell you what's really cool. Oh, as usual, Jackson, come yeah. on in and have a look around. Come on, don't spoil our opening, yeah, Joe. Yeah, that's right, welcome in. Right away, we got ourselves a bedroom in here with, I'm noticing something, Joe. These What's ceilings that? are tall, tall. So you got a bedroom right away. You have another bedroom over here. Got a whole another. Split in between a full bath. And they're good sized bedrooms. These are big. And again, you got the tall ceilings here. So right there, you also got split me a full, full bath, right bath right. down here. So let's walk this way. We'll, we'll go ahead and overlook this because typically this is a wall and then right here would be a doorway to the entry. Uh, right. to the mud room but that is something to show you real quick that um, they've got you know all these different floor plans right here so they have eight different floor plans so you're not stuck to just the one single stories and two-story homes um, we are actually in the mckinney right here mm -hmm. yes come on jojo i got it right yes yeah you got it so as you know the story. majority are single floor homes and these are the options that you can add into the homes when building them from dirt. Yep, and one thing before we go show the kitchen, it's amazing and everything else. 
Again, the average monthly utility cost, 124. I've stressed this over and over. A couple of these builders are doing it. You actually see um, mortgage choice, choice plan, surprising performance. This is right here, the 2023 America's Most trust, Trustworthy Company. So there's a lot of reviews about this. And here in Texas, I don't know if you knew it, but it gets hot, hot. So as you see, they've got spray insulation in all the walls um, and then they cover it. And then you got your hardy plank exterior down here. So these are very, very efficient homes, um, as you can see there. So you're gonna be saving hundreds of dollars a month on your uh, bills for the for the electrical gas all that kind of stuff and since you were leaving that room Jackson yep that is an additional option for this home that can give you like a, a, a game room downstairs so right. it completes a single level home with a game room these ceilings already seem tall here Joe but I think they're gonna get taller taller and then right over here you have a half bath to your left and a bedroom straight ahead so you got another bathroom there and another bedroom but it has your full bathroom in it. So that's got a shower in it. So it's not like you got a half bath. If you're in this bedroom, you would have your own shower here. And so, that's gonna be like for your guests and everybody at the half yeah, bath. Yeah, so what this is basically is your in-law suite. And now what do you got behind you? Right over here, you have a study. There you go. So now you do have that office in there. Again, it's really cool with these tall ceilings. It just, everything feels so much bigger and open. So let's go where everybody wants to see Jojo. Right here, this is where life begins in a house that makes it home, is your kitchen and your living space. Look how long this island is. Super long, lots of cabinet space as you can see from all the way, starting from the left, all the way cascading, all the way over above the refrigerator. Again, all in this single level home, you get four bedrooms. How unheard of is that for a price point a little over $400,000? It's like you were talking about Jackson, a lot of covered patios on the exterior. And as you see this one, this one has one wrapping around through uh, the windows of the breakfast nook. I gotta check it out. And again, what they did is they carried from the inside the height of the covered patio. So I don't know what that is, 12, 14 feet, something like that. But the whole thing about this floor plan and why it's so popular, she actually was telling us they have all the different floor plans. They'll sell one to two of the other houses compared to like eight to 10 of these. So, but this one, you actually really feel like you get a big custom covered patio. It's very quiet out here, peaceful. You get all the trees and the nature. Last but not least, Jojo. All right, so come on into the primary bedroom over here and it's spacious as well. Dang. Look how big and open it is. Again, you have a king size bed, two nightstands to the left and to the right. And they did a built-in over there instead of having like the... That's right, yeah, they had a built-in. A lot of people like to uh, build out the custom cushions here and it just makes uh, just real nice decor in the house. Yeah, more space than putting the couches in there. This is a really good sized room. And look at the uh, primary bath again, you know, it's, it's spacious, still has a separate tower, a shower, tower, a separate shower and tub. Yep. So now you're not just with one big walk-in shower or shower, you actually get both of them in this one. You know, at a price point starting just about 25,000 more than the other ones, it definitely has that more of a custom Yeah, and a lot of these it. are the base price as well. Yeah, he, you get a huge closet here. We've got a secret corner back here, Joe. Look at that, they give you as much space as they can in this closet. Look at that, Joe. Oh, we got a sneak. Come on and get wedged in here, big dog. <laughs> I'm gonna catch this. I think these people know us from our YouTube channel. What's up, guys? Do we know you? Get out of here, man. Huh? Your videos brought me out here. No way. Yeah, we're from Arizona. Jackson. Jackson, yeah. good to meet you. I got my man Jojo over there. Let's go tell him. <laughs> Jojo's over there? Yeah, I gotta get you introduced Jojo's to Jojo. Thin, huh? Yeah, that's right. How are you guys? Doing good. That's awesome. So you guys came from Arizona? All right, what's got you at Marvita? Just curious. Uh, we were, we were looking for a place for my mother. Like I said, watch your videos all yeah. the time and everything. So we needed a downstairs bedroom. So we were basing everything off, off of that. Videos, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but then we were in some place over here and we just happened to be driving by here and turn in to see we were at another community just a little further north. There's one like Ever yeah, Evergreen and there's Art of Villas over here. You fans? <laughs> yeah, watching you guys' video helped us make the decision to lean forward to come out here. 
Now, it's pretty cool seeing you guys out in the field. In fact, everywhere we go, we seem to be running into more and more of you. What's better? Well, we're the number one relocation team. When I was moving here, there was nothing like this. So I started creating these videos and we created an entire team that helps you find the perfect spot. Right there is our contact info and our email. That's how you reach out to us, get a private consultation. All of that is what we do the best. But now we got to get into these next set of homes. It is by Centex Builders. They got some really crazy incentives, but the one thing that I really enjoy about them is that they don't finagle their prices. There's not this huge upcharge to get extra things. They give a price and everything in that house is exactly what you get. And they have such great starter prices in the mid 200,000s. So let's go check out the first one. All right, house number three, Jackson. So let's go take a look at this amazing builder by Centex Homes and reason why I say amazing is because the conveniences that this builder includes in here is going to be immediate move-ins. They're to be built so it hits a timeline and it doesn't take long for them to build out a home and everything that they have in their package is ready to go. Now I will tell you real quick we have gone into that first Pulte home it was about 375 the second house was that Beezer right at 404 and then they have this other Pulte home here we walked in there. These are actually starting as you can see a two-story right at the mid 300 so about 350 so you know it looked a lot of you know like the other one over there the one at the end was a little bit nicer but what we want to do is now show you what that low 300s but still getting the two-story is so there is massive mad incentives on this home that the builder is offering that with their partner lender whoa whoa jojo but don't tell them that yeah that's coming at the end the incentives is why we're out here today and that is the story that we want to tell that's why we're giving you the prices now because the incentives at the end we've never seen them you wait all right well let's come on in and that's the tour <laughs> Jojo, you got to give him a little bit more than that. We didn't see nothing. How do I get in there? I got to go around. I'll meet you over there. Jojo's got me lost in the sales office here. I'm going to catch him though. Where are you at, Jojo? I'm right over here. All right, there you are. Jackson, I know we like to have a little bit of fun when we come out here, <laughs> but seriously, before we go into this house and we, and we check it out, if I didn't mention this house is right around 2,400 square feet, four full bathrooms, two and a half baths. So let's come on in and take a look at what that looks like. Okay. Come on in, my friend. Right away, got ourselves a study. You got yourself a study. Okay. Double door, French doors, glass. French doors, you have the garage space here. This goes up to the second floor. And then here is the open kitchen concept with the living and the breakfast area all in one space. Another good sized area, main level. And you're obviously sacrificing some of the ceiling height because we're gonna have a second floor. There's no hiding out what this is and what we've seen in a lot of other homes. However, one of the things coming into this house for 2,400 square feet and at the 330 price point, it is giving you a lot of space. So when they're wanting to start in that low 300s to relocate, be in a nice clean house, clean neighborhood, as far as everything's brand new and recent with the pools, the amenities and everything else, this has it right here in this community. So come over here, as you pass through to the primary bedroom, you're gonna have a half bath over here to the side and a coat closet. Okay. Hey, that's not too bad. Light and bright in here. So still, still in this bedroom, Jackson, you get a, a, mat, a king size bed. Again, nightstands to the left and to the right. You don't have a bay window here. However, it's still nice, bright and open. Look at all those beautiful trees. And even though this is the model home community, as you see right over there, there's a sign right across the way and that says future school home site. Conroe ISD. Okay, we take you through. And again, you're gonna have a double vanity sink the bathroom and you've got, well, hey, you do get the tub here. So you've got a full tub down here with the shower and then a pretty decent sized walk-in closet. So good enough ample space. Again, we wanted to just really stress and emphasize that they said, hey, this is 330, but we're not gonna just tack on a bunch of extra prices for add-ons. Like we're just gonna make a good, you know, four bedroom product in that low 300 range and keep it right there. So let's go check out that upstairs, let's Jojo. Let's go check it out. And for, for this builder to, to uh, compete and to be competitive with this price point, that's why they have everything in their package included and they don't allow upgrades on it. So okay. it is move in ready style. Now, this is really, really nice. You don't compromise hey. on space over here on the second floor amazing sprawling spread out game room i have never seen the back-to-back -back couch that is legit uh, you know it, my kids would be doing ultimate it, warrior on that thing and i think the designer on this is really just showcasing how much space this really is is it's it's really two spaces in one 
I can say I'm honestly shocked how much space there is up here. This is really cool. Now, what you got back over here, Jojo? All right, so over here, you're gonna have a bedroom, a full bathroom, a bedroom, and another bedroom over here. This one in particular, we haven't seen a lot of them, but they do. They're in a lot of communities and a lot of different homes. You do have the utility room on the second floor. A lot of people who have purchased these, they do like them because the majority of the kids and everything else happens over here on the second floor. So we have a lot of clients moving from out of state, moving over here. And one of the first questions they tell us is that, hey, I need four bedrooms, I need a game room, I need the space to accommodate my family. However, I also need that sub $350,000 mark. This puts you right at 330, 20,000 below that price point. And wait until you hear the incentives. Yes, a two-story house for $380,000. That was a really nice house. And that upstairs, oh my gosh, I didn't think I was gonna get JoJo out of there. But real quick, you guys might not know where we're even at, and that plays a massive role. Again, if we look at just a house, you might move to the wrong area like I did. When I created these videos in this channel, there was nothing like it, so I really wanted to make sure you guys had an understanding of the area. So if we look at this blown out map, you've got Houston right here. And straight to the north on 45, you have Conroe. So this is actually in the Conroe ISD, the same as the Woodlands, Texas. Very highly rated if you look at it online. Plus you're in Montgomery County. Now, where we keep referencing is the 242. And right here, you will see Mavera. So we are right off the 242 and the 1314, which can take you up to Conroe. But as you will notice, right over here to the west, you've got the Woodlands, Texas. It is an easy 15 minute drive away. And on the way, you also have HEB stores, grocery stores. And then just right over here in the New Caney area, this is it where that Tavola $200,000 house was. And you also have the massive, massive, Massive shopping center right here at Valley Ranch Town Center. So there's a hundred plus shops, restaurants, bars right there, movie theaters and sports fields, everything you need. So really within any direction, you've got anything that you need and then you're gonna get the best prices ever. So as things continue to grow and scale out, the prices of these areas continue to raise too. So right now with the builders basically putting the ball on the tee, letting you knock it out of the park, these incentives are the best things you have going for you. I will tell you all about those incentives because they're insane, but first let's go check out that last house. All right, here's our fourth and last home, Jackson. I'm super excited. Can't we can't no. hear any Shoot, I could have the camera in the kitchen, and when we walk in, it shows us, and it bounces back and forth Good. in the future. Or you could turn your microphone on next time, and we wouldn't have to reshoot <laughs> this JoJo. So we already toured this whole house, and uh, you guys missed it because Joe didn't have his microphone on. So take two. Joe, where are you we at? House four. Okay, so right here, we're in the fourth and last house out in the community. And the reason why we save this one, Jackson, is because this is a single level home. And not only that, this is the lowest price point that they have amongst all these homes right here, starting at 280. And when I mention base price at 280, Jackson, that means everything is already included in that other than the lot premium that they have. However, not including the amazing incentives that this builder is offering. All right, so it isn't the lowest price point. They actually have some in that 245 range, 250 range. But at 280, now you're going to see something that's actually really nice. And it has a larger square footage. So when I actually get back over here to JoJo, I got to go through the sales office. He can fill you in on that as... Some of the houses that we showed in these other neighborhoods were right around that, you know, 1150, 1200 square foot range. So now you're gonna get actually a nicer house. Wait till we go in there. And then how many square feet is this one, Jojo? So this particular one, this is right under 1500 square feet. So you're gonna get a good 300 square foot more than some of those other ones we saw in the low 200s. So let's go check All it right, out, Jojo. So let's come on in and take a look around. Hey, hey. This is pretty nice, Joe. This is nice, so come on this way to the kitchen living area. But before we go any further, I wanted to point out that this particular floor plan has a study down here as well. Okay, so it's got more character already than some of the other, you know, $200,000 homes. And it gives you an office space in here instead of just a traditional 
three two so you got a little bit more space yeah now, what office else space got? is super popular you know the majority of people who reach out to us they need some kind of space for for office and this is a split level floor plan meaning you have the primary over here and the secondary bedrooms right over here jackson and it's just feeling spacious like it feels taller it does here. it just it's open i like yep. the way they position windows throughout the house and it just keeps it real nice and open so you've got one bedroom in here Good size. You've got a full bath with a tub. So even if you get the kiddos, you got the tub right there and not just a shower. And then you got another bedroom big enough in here for two beds uh, if you needed to. But just showing kind of the overall size, you're not compressing these bedrooms down. Now we've got a pretty nice kitchen here, Joe Joe. So yes, this is super open. It, it, it gives you a lot of room to still be able to entertain considering the size of the house. You still get gas appliances. Really nice neutral color cabinets. I like when they do it white, especially in like a sub 1500 square foot home. It just really opens it up. If you come over here to the breakfast area, Jackson, it's still open. It still allows uh, plenty of room for, you know, for like, for example, they have this round table with seating with five. You still get a pantry over here, so you don't have to use all the cabinet, cabinet space, space yeah. you know, for, for that. They still give you a covered back patio in the back. So we got a patio, we got the kitchen, the office, the rooms. Let's go check out that master bedroom. So come on into the primary bedroom, Jackson. Looks like we got laundry over here, so right by the primary. What I would like to point out is we've had clients reach out and a lot of them mainly from um, the East Coast side, from like New York, New Jersey, and so forth. They have asked for that they wanted a closet in the bedroom versus the uh, primary bath. So do they get one here, Jojo? So there's one right here. And it's not just a closet. Look at that bad boy. That is about 10 feet. Big old walk-in closet here. I had a closet like this one time and I actually went to Ikea and you customize these things and get a bunch of custom built-in shelves here. And then you can get shoe racks, hangers, so that you don't have all the space here. So definitely a good option. Still a lot of room, a lot you know. Of room. For me, same shirts, Jackson, plenty of room for me and for you. <laughs> I mean, what, you just need them for your, your high tops and your shorts. That's and right. Then we get a full bathroom here um, and you're gonna get the tub shower. So. It won't be both of them, it's the combined, but at least you will get the tub and you will get a shower in here as well. So good size. And then of course, all of these houses have big, big oversized windows with views of the beautiful trees, water, and so forth. All right, all right. So we've seen all four houses. I got the incentive right here, my cheat sheet. Before we do that, I need you to do me one thing. Again, I am asking only one thing from you guys. As we pour hours and days into doing these videos for you, the only thing I'm asking for is you hit that like button right now. It is down below hit the like button. It actually is really helping our videos to get more views. So if you would do that, the original Living in Houston, Texas team would absolutely love it. And now that you've hit the like button, if you would comment down below, I'm super curious. Did you like that first house that was 375, the second house that was 404, the third house for 350, or that last house for 280? What did you think was the best deal? What house did you like the most? Just comment that down below so that we can read that and gauge what you guys like. Now, what you guys are here for, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum, these crazy incentives. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through them in the order that I think is the best deal. Um, again, this is all online public marketing that the builders and these lenders that are working with them are providing. We go in and we ask these sales reps, hey, what kind of incentives do you have? What kind of public marketing? And they will give us actual sheets, they will show the websites, and they tell us what they have. Now, the first one, well, I'm just gonna go in there and show you. Let's head in. Now I gotta just take you inside here because I have to show you something. Again, this is not us just making things up. If you look, I'm in the sales office of the Pulte Homes. This is the first home that we went into. And if we cruise uh, the camera right around right here, 4.75% special financing. So this is the marketing material that you find in all of these houses. And uh, when you talk to all the sales reps and a lot of times when you go online, so it is Uber uber imperative that you're reaching out to jojo the team the original living in houston texas team because they got to contact these specified lenders for these builders but they're wanting to make these deals happen getting the extra negotiation from a guy like the jojo man you are in the best seat possible so with that house you saw interest rates at 4.75 percent now they are asking for an earnest money deposit that means if you're going to buy one of those houses of at least five thousand dollars this is super common that means that you are a serious buyer 
We might talk about a little bit lower ones here in a second, but they also have one thing that the other houses don't have. They have both houses that start at the dirt so that you can control the build process and spec homes. So they actually have quite a few houses already available that you can purchase. Now, the next one that I wanna talk about is the two at the end. You have the Sentex house, which was a two-story house, and then you have this single level Sentex. Now, when we went in and talked to their sales rep, they said that they could also buy down that interest rate to 5.25%. Now, from what I understand and what it says on their website, that is more of a fixed rate where the other ones can kind of adjust year after year, just up 1%. But again, this is why it's like the uber important that you have somebody like Jojo and our team go through this with you. But yes, if you're gonna get half the interest rate of what today's is, that is a massive win. Let me show you. Now, as you can see here again, this is on the Centex website, a 30 year fixed rate at 4.75. So if we go over here right now, that two story home was around $350,000. There's not gonna be any added costs for anything that you saw in there. A lot of the show homes, again, they're gonna have a base price and then when they're staged that nice, it might be more. The two story Centex in the single level, that is the price that you see. So I thought that was really cool. Now, depending on the amount you put down, really doesn't matter right now if you wanna save your cash and just put 5% down, you know you can because there's so much availability with the builders and we're coming up to the end of the year, they wanna get rid of stuff. But you will notice that even today's rate is right around eight and a quarter. So if they're going to buy that down and be able to get you into a 4.75, you're gonna notice how much that payment just dropped. So now you're looking, and again, the property taxes and everything will factor in to be a little bit more or less, but just an overall principal and interest from 8.25, you're talking almost $800 a month in savings. Now, unlike that first house, the one cool thing about Centex is that you don't have to have as much money down. Now, when we went in there and talked to them, they said that you can actually come up with $1,500 down as your earnest money deposit. So that is a massive savings right out of the gate. Now that earnest money will go to purchasing the home, but at the same time is a considerable amount of money less that you have to start with to get into these houses. So you're gonna get a great interest rate and a lower earnest money to get started in one of those beautiful Beautiful homes. But last and not least, that house in the middle, the Beezer house, which I really thought was special at $404,000. Not only do they have a buy down program, they had one of the lower ones that we saw. So again, it can change. It is all public marketing. You want the Bulldog Jojo fighting for you, but $404,000, let's say you just put 5% down and you went with today's 8.25 interest rate. They said that they could actually buy it down and it is a three to one buy down to as low as 4.25% saving a thousand dollars a month. Now, the other cool thing about this one is that they said that you could do a $5,000 earnest deposit, but with the main man, Jojo, it's negotiable down to $1,000 earnest deposit to get into some of these houses. The two Centex homes at the end, those are more spec-like. There's gonna be a lot of availability. You can get into those as soon as tomorrow. Whereas the Beezer home, they do have some houses that have fallen out of contract that are available, but for the most part, they're gonna be more in the design process from the dirt. So if you're thinking about early next year as your starting date, they can build in as little as four to five months and that is when your payments do which is a beautiful thing so there's so many factors that you have to weigh and that's why it's so important that you go into this with somebody like our team because we can factor all the builders all the master plan communities instead of just one in fact if you watch this video we've had a few clients buy a house in this community right here because the homes were so affordable and those builder incentives were crazy so go watch this video right here and see just how unbelievable those houses and that area is and reach out to us to help you.